All right. So, again, first step, G, C, F. Is anything going to 2, 1, and negative 10? No. So that's done. Second step. This is parentheses star variable, right? So this is your star. So we do have a star this time. That's why this is a fourth step method. Four step method, okay? All right, so I'm going to bring that star down in my parentheses. So I have 2x and 2x, okay? Now, remember, I have an extra 2 here. x times x is x squared, but 2 times 2 is 4, right? Okay, this just is, all, it, all I'm going to do is clean it up later. It makes the math nice and easy, okay? So I'm going to clean it up later, and we're going to do it using that upside down division again, okay? All right, so what's our next step? Step three. Signs. So what do I do? Who remembers? Anyone? Someone? One? One? Bring down the first sign. Okay? You're going to bring down that first sign. Okay? Now, what does this sign tell me, Alexi? Is it the same? Or is it different? What is this telling me? Same or different? Same different. It's saying different. Good. So that means these two are different. Right? So what's different from plus? Simple, right? Yeah. Okay? Okay, that's it. Now, go to the next one. Step four. Step four is product and sum. Okay? Product and sum. The product is 2 times 10. Focus on this one. 2 times 10 is what? 20. Okay? What's this number? When there's no number there, what is it? A 1. Okay? Don't forget that. Now, in the product I'm multiplying, but in the sum I'm always doing what? The second sign. Whatever the second sign is doing. So in this case, I'm finding the difference. Okay? So, what multiplies to be 20, but is different by 1? Okay? So, what if we come up with 10 and 2? Remember, always big number first. Okay? Big number first. So 10 and 2. So what if I come up with 10 and 2? Is that going to be 1? Is 10 minus 2 1? No. No. So, what other two numbers multiply to be 20? Uh, 5 and 4. 5 and 4. Big number first. 5 times 4. Is 5 minus 4 1? Yes. Yes. So that's your numbers. 5 and 4. Okay? That's it. That's it. Now, we got one more step though, right? What is it? Clean up. Clean up. We got the star clean up. Okay? That means I need to find some number that goes into this and this. A product that goes into both of these. Okay? And my star, what is my star? Two, right? So I need two numbers, two and one. That's the only thing. Now if it were a 12, it could be two and it could be 12 and one. It could be three and four. It could be two and six. But it's not a 12, it's a two. So the only two numbers that multiply to be two is two and one. So does two go into both of these? No. No. But one does, right? One goes into anything. And does two go into both of these? Yeah. Okay. And so that's how we're going to clean it up. One goes into two, two times. One goes into five, five times. Two goes into two once. And two goes into four, twice. And that's how we cleaned it up. So now that's it. 
We set that equal to zero and solve. All that means is 2x plus 5 equals 0 and x minus 2 equals 0. So x equals 2. Okay, I know that. That one was easy, right? And then this one, minus 5 minus 5, 2x equals minus 5. And then what? Divide by 2, divide by 2, x equals negative 5 over 2. And that is how you do that. So this is again two answers. x equals the solution set of negative 5 halves and 2. Okay?